Cybersecurity has received recently a lot of attention and it's understandable. Safety system is your last line of defense. Safety system should be operational at all time to provide protection to people, equipment, and environment. When people start designing a safety system, uh, typically uh, concentrate too much on the architecture, uh, whether it's interface or integrated. One of the most common questions I receive is, what most secure, an integrated system or an interface system? And I feel that that is an oversimplification of the discussion. One of the main concepts of cybersecurity is the concept of defense in depth. It should be different layers of protection, different lines of defense. It, you shouldn't rely on one single thing. At the same time, when you talk about the architecture, you need to um, evaluate the different implementations. Not all integrated systems are the same, not all interface systems are the same. When comparing the most common architecture for SIS, the interface and the integrated architectures, sometimes we need to evaluate how is the separation of the number of connections, because each connection needs to be protected from a cybersecurity point of view. On an interface system, we have two different vendors connected through open protocols like a Modbus TCP, uh, OPC, any type of open protocol. Typically, people think that we only have one link, but it's not true because beside your connection to the DCS, you have other connections like uh, the asset management system for your field devices. You typically have a historian and event records. All those are additional connections that need to be protected. With an integrated system, you typically have only one connection point. That means only one thing to protect that gives you more separation than on an interface system. In addition of the architecture, you need to look of the different countermeasures provided by the system. Delta BSIS provide different countermeasures to protect against unauthorized users by different means. We have a lock functionality, we have means to enforce physical presence, we have even the opportunity to have a, a person make the authorization before the action is taken. So we have approvers that you can use to validate the actions of a different user. All that give you a higher level of protection than a typical uh, safety system. Cybersecurity on safety system is a very interesting and complex topic. And I'm sure that you might have comments or questions. I invite you to put your comments and questions on the 365 page.